and we are live. Hello, everybody. How are you? And this is Will, your host of Major Investor. And uh, I used to talk about stocks all the time um, on here about dividend plays and how you can make money doing dividend plays. And I'm going to share a little bit of information first with you, um, a little of education and some background. Okay, so when a company that you're invested in, um, and this is all the companies, not just one company. This is many companies that you're invested in. And uh, they make a statement, and they tell you that <clears throat> um, they want to liquidate some more of their shares or put more of their shares on the marketplace, and they own roughly about 60% uh, of them. You have no say in it. If they want to do a private placement, a private placement is they're trying to raise funds for a project. Similar to what uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum could do, but there's no governance. There's no there's no one person they have to go to or an exchange that they have to go and talk to about doing this. They can do it freely on their own. Um, that's the difference between the stock market and then the, the uh, cryptos. The cryptos is anybody can buy as many as they want at any time that they want to do it. So... They can buy up 80-90% of the tokens or coins, and they have control of what goes on in that coin, as long as it's governed. And majority of the go uh, almost 100% of them are governed at some point or another, at some sort of intervals. Um, and that's why when you look at stocks and people go, well, I don't trust stocks anymore. I've lost so much money in stock market. I don't trust it, so I'm going to move to cryptocurrency. But the problem with the cryptocurrency is... The exchanges aren't trustworthy. You get on there, they stop your money. They stop the flow of money. They don't have the money to back it up, so therefore they cannot get that money for you to give you um, that benefit uh, because they got to go talk to the exchanges to get it from them. So if you're liquidating all the time, moving your money back and forth, the exchanges have a hard time paying that amount out to you. Um, they're taking in a lot of money, but they're also spending a lot of money. So they're also liquidating their own assets. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that's a bad sign and a good sign. A uh, good sign that there's no governing, so they can do whatever they want with it, with the token. The bad news is, is the holders, the investors, are the ones who get punished for it. So you understand the concept. In the governing world of stocks, they have to talk to the exchanges and the SEC. So anything with securities, they have to go talk to them, make sure that it's okay with the whole aspect of the shareholder because they're the ones investing their hard-earned money into their company. But the company doesn't give two craps about the investor. They're just looking at surviving. And right now with a market complexity that we're going on right now, I haven't covered dividend stocks in over a year. And here's the reason why. I bought into them. But they start cutting back their dividend, which means they can no longer pay their dividend to their shareholders. So there's no liquid, there's no security in buying their stock because there's no set precedent that they have to collect that money for you. So to pay you uh, your dividend that you're getting paid from them. So therefore, uh, I was strongly suggesting that they buy SHIB. I gave them over a month and a half to two months. I figured that was enough time to go through their governing bodies and talk to their chair people and their CEOs of their companies to figure out what they want to do with their money. I gave them ample time to do this. So by making this video and understanding where they're coming from and how you can benefit from it is an opportunity for you to understand how the complexity of the stock market so that you don't have to waste your time and your money into something that may or may not work. They have a choice. They can buy SHIB. Now, and this is, goes for everybody. You can buy SHIB or don't buy it. It's under a penny, so it's very liquid. Okay, uh, it's No one is going to cover it, and no one's going to tell you to buy, sell, or hold it. I just made a, uh, a suggestion to the companies saying, this is the best place to put your money because the investors 
us, the holders, us, the people that go out there and support SHIB are the community. Everybody else is a what if scenario. A what if they do this? What if they do that? Koyo is one of those that is burning SHIB. So it would have my full 1000% approval as long as they are legit. And how do I know that they're legit? I have no idea. But they are burning SHIB. And they're burning it at 2% of their daily profit or their daily transactions that they're doing. So I would look at that as a profit. 2% of the profit, net income that's coming in from them, then there's, there's their coin. So anyone who supports the burn or buybacks should be 100% in our either a rear view mirror or a sign that's coming up ahead. Um, like I said before with the investments, uh, when, when you're talking SHIB compared to the stock market, SHIB is always buying back their tokens. There is not one day that they don't, that there's not some sort of burn. Even if it's um, 1,000 coins or 4,000 coins buybacks, there's always a buyback in SHIB. There's always somebody willing to burn it. Now, I'm having a hard trouble finding the SHIB community. They're having a hard time finding me, and I don't know why that is, but that is what it is. Um, and I'm trying to reach out to everybody that's involved to find out if we can possibly get together, form a committee, form a, uh, a forum, so that we can start talking about the number one source that's going to help us help the rest of the world. But we can't do it alone. We have to depend on the people to get the word out that SHIB is the way. And I'm not trying to refer him to the uh, Mandalorian statement, but it's true. It's it's the way uh, because it gives us the power. It brings puts the power back in our wallet that we make the decisions. We control ship. Now you look at the the market right now. You look at this. You look at ship the price. You say, well, that, that's not true. Look at ship's price. I mean, it was 147 this morning. Now it's 112. The burns came in. Get a load of this. The burns came in just a few minutes ago. Eight hours ago. Eight hours ago. 1.494 billion. 1.49 billion tokens burned this morning. Eight, eight hours ago. Where's SHIB now? Selling off. Why? People do not understand. This is what I'm trying to tell you. They don't get it. They just don't get it. They don't watch. They don't listen. They don't pay attention. They're all about today. Only today. And this is why it's so important that when we do the burns, we do the burns on a daily basis, right? So, uh, and how do we do that? We have to convince others, other coins, you want, you want stability, you want equity, and you don't have any, any functionality whatsoever. All you need to do is buy SHIB. Deutschcoin should be buying SHIB. XRP, they should, but they don't have to because they got utility. But those that don't have utility, as soon as they buy SHIB, they have utility. Because if there's, they're doing it, they're burning it, they now have utility because now they have the whole SHIB community behind them. They have utility that way. It's not a great, it's not, it doesn't have teeth. We don't call it teeth. It's like Shibarium. When Shibarium comes out, it's got teeth. It's got grit. You can understand it. But SHIB, by its own right, has utility. How does it have utility? If Bone, Leash, everything in the ecosystem started looking at it and going, we're going to do the exact same thing Koyo is doing, except we're going to do it bigger and better. We're going to do 5% burns on every single transaction that we do. Because we want to do it better than everybody else. Because we're part of that ecosystem. We need that support. We need that support on Bone, Leash, She, Shitoshis, Shiboshis, NFTs, Shib, the Metaverse. We need all that support to guarantee our spot in the ecosystem. But they don't do that. They, they, they go, well, we're part of the ecosystem. Well, you're not part of the ecosystem. Your ecosystem is based on sheep. Shibarium, based on bone, based on leash, 
yours is all in that area. But where is your devotion to ship? Well, if you're not behind us, you're against us. So it's in your best interest, and they should have done this when they started Bone and Leash, is start at the burns immediately, therefore getting the whole community behind them. Therefore, the properties would sell. They wouldn't be asking for money all the time because they would have it. But they don't do it, and I don't understand it. And I don't understand why they don't see the benefit of doing it. Um, and this is where I get a little frustrated with the whole community because, again, Everybody else is focused on one aspect of it. What can they do for ship? Instead of us, us, because it's our token. It's our job to find Koyo. It's our job to find other companies willing to invest in ship and liquidate it, buy back and sell it to the burn wallets. And there's three of them, right? So it's in our best interest, not their best interest, our best interest to find these companies. Like I said, we're we're on a hill. We're in an island. The island's got a huge mountain. It's got 589 trillion. That's about nine miles high of this of this ice that's formed, and it's got all the snow on it. We're all on the top of it, coming up with our own perceptions of reaching out, trying to get help from somebody else to, to get rid of our mountain, our mountain. And they have nothing to do with it. They're on a ship somewhere sailing away from us. And if they're sailing away and we can't get a hold of them, they, there's no way of getting or reaching them, it doesn't work. We need everybody to get together and start figuring out how we're going to turn this powder so that we can make snowballs. And we make a big snowball, we roll it down the hill. Koyo is one of those companies that's bringing us together to build that snowball and roll it down the hill. But it's small, like really small. It's the size of a trailer in comparison. So if you look at a trailer, like I'm not talking about a freight trailer. I'm talking like the end of the back end of your truck trailer. And it's going to, you know, like you, you have 589 trillion and you're burning only 1 billion of it. Per day, it's going to the bottom. Yes, it's getting there, or it's getting halfway there, and it's stopping. It will eventually melt, but it's taking its time melting. Once it's melted into the ground, it brings up flowers. It brings up our ecosystem should be based on that island. Everything that deals with that island. So our ecosystem would be koi right now. And then anyone else, like AMC was doing uh, party burns, but Shitoshi put an end to it. Uh, and he'd probably say that he wasn't, but Co uh, David Copper, is it David Copper? Uh, someone will, I'm sure they'll come out and say that's wrong. <laughs> but anyway, somebody came out with a burn party. They turfed it um, because they didn't want it, because it it would actually help the whole ship community form together to figure out a way they could actually burn more tokens. Bring on more companies. Bring on more utility. Okay, how would we do that? Well, more companies or more coins like Koi. And in fact, I was hoping that we would get together and form a burn party or a uh, portal for everybody that wanted to do media formation. Everybody support each other's media foundation so that we would do public burns together. And we would do them in a form of um, a podcast. So that we would do a circle chain. And everybody that's part of that community would do a burn. Because we'd all support each other's channels. And if we do that, we would burn the ship faster. Is it the answer? Uh, not one single action is the answer. The idea is to get multiple channels doing the exact same thing. Multiple companies doing the exact same thing. Multiple exchanges doing the exact same thing. You see where I'm going with this, right? It starts that snowball effect that we're talking about, building that community, building it stronger, coming up with ways, way bigger ways to burn SHIB off, liquidate SHIB, buy back our tokens, bring back our existence, and show the whole SHIB community and the world, if you're not in us, you're not winning. 
you are left out in the middle of the field all by yourself. And that's why I'm invested in SHIB, and that's why I'm so strong an advocate for SHIB, is because I believe in the SHIB community. I don't believe in stocks anymore. I don't believe in companies that are telling you one thing and doing another. If you like that, and you like the tokens that are doing that for you, I absolutely agree with it. But I think the gateway for people when they buy SHIB is that they didn't understand that they are actually invested in themselves. So when you're invested in yourself, how much time and effort will you spend helping yourself out? How much time and effort will you take into consideration for everything that goes on? And th this is what I'm trying to say to everybody. Uh, I love you all, um, and I want this community to grow. And the whole reason for this um, video is to enlighten you in some way, shape, or form. Uh, the disclaimer is going to be at the end. And uh, please like and subscribe. Let's say that again. Please like and subscribe. So if you hit that like button, it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you anything to watch the videos. It, it helps out the community in some way, shape, or form. Uh, hopefully you pass it along to everybody. If you don't, that's okay too. I mean, it's all on you. Um, but the disclaimer is it's under a penny, guys, and it's extreme risk. And no one's going to tell you to buy, sell, or hold, and they're not going to hold themselves to it. And that's the and I don't do it either. I'm not an analyst, not a broker. If I were, I'd have to tell you that uh, you still can't uh, go by what anything I say because this is highly speculative. Not, it's not a little risky. It's extreme risk because we have no idea when the burns are going to happen. We have no idea how many buybacks of each of the companies that is going to exist. We can only give you scenarios. Well, those scenarios are based on speculation. Anything speculative is highly volatile and highly risky. So therefore, nobody in their right mind is going to tell you that with any grain of certainty to buy it and hold it for a long term. Um, the choice is yours. It's your money. Do it as you wish. If you just want to dabble and buy because you're curious, uh, I would suggest you buy it just on curiosity alone. But I only only invest in what you're willing to lose, and that's the bottom line. Find an exchange you can trust. Find the people that you can trust to do or say what they think is the right way. Um, right now, Coyo uh, is only trading on market uh, Coin Marketplace, and I don't know anything about Coin Marketplace. But they're not burning ship. That's a guarantee. So if they're not burning it, we can't support it. You have to burn it to support it. So they have to buy it. <laughs> they don't have to. It's in their best interest to buy it and then burn it as they burn off the transactions. And they can only, all they have to do is put out a disclaimer, guys, saying that from now on, we are burning ship. And that's it. That's all they have to say. Uh, we're burning a percentage of it, they could say that. They, but if they come out and say we're burning shame on every single transaction, they have done. They don't have to say anymore. That's it. That's the bottom line. And that's where I want to go with this. It's like it's, everybody says, oh, it's so hard for them. It's not hard for them at all. All they got to do is put a disclaimer. There's no regulation on coins. Only exchanges. But these exchanges, unless they're public exchanges, they don't even have to disclose anything really. Except that they might want to say to them so that they don't get sued later on saying, I had no idea my money was going to the burn wallets for SHIB because if I knew that, I would have bought SHIB. And that's where you don't want the lawsuits coming in. So that it's in your best interest, like my best interest, when I did it on major aerial drone services, I made a disclaimer saying that from now on I'm taking an extra $5 and I'm going to throw it into the SHIB burn portal for the burn wallet. And how am I going to do that? Well, every single contract I get from now on, I'm going to burn $5, uh, $4.50 of the $5 I take in. That's all you need to do. Like, it's that simple. And then you ask the community for their support. But how do you get a hold of 1.3 million holders? How do you find the 3 million followers on SHIB? Uh, they're usually on Shibarium, Shitoshis. They're usually watching Lucy. They're usually watching somebody else in the metaverse. But these, all these organizations that are formed around SHIB are not burning it. And that's the bottom line. Now, they might start burning it because of these broad, this podcast or these videos that I've put out stressing this point to everybody. 
We only support those that are willing to support us. That's the bottom line. That's that's my bottom line. That's my opinion. So I'm only suggesting it to everybody else that this is what you need to do and this is how you need to achieve it. Every company that supports the SHIB community, like if they're if they're making coins and they're making SHIB coins immaculate, excellent shape, and you're appreciative of them, you should be noting it and then saying to them, listen, you want us, the SHIB community, to support your coins. We don't want you to burn or we don't want you to charge us, the SHIB community, an extra 20 cents. We want you to charge on every coin that you sell. Every single coin. That way there, you don't have to make a disclaimer for each separate entity. You just make one simple disclaimer saying that from now on, we are going to burn SHIB. From now on, we're going to burn SHIB on every single transaction, period. 20 cents is going to be used, not doing a percentage on what we make. No, no, no. We're going to do that on the money that's buying in right now. So from now on, 20 cents on every single purchase, on every single coin, will go to the dead-end wallets on the ship burn portal. Done. You have the support of the ship community. We just got to find them. <laughs> we just got to find the investors again and tell them, listen, this is why you got in. This is why you're holding it. This is why you need to focus on what you want to do. Um, and that that is the whole reasoning for this uh, whole, whole prospect of what's going on with uh, the SHIB community. And why it's so important for us to back SHIB. Uh, because we believe in buybacks. When a company comes out and says, we're buying back our stock, the initial thing is a knee-jerk reaction. What happens is they get some sellers. Because they don't understand the buyback por portion of it. Because they're not paying attention. They are only buying back on the dips. Not the gains. The dips. People don't get this misconception that they're buying it back and they're going to buy it back continually. No, 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 no. Companies, when they do buybacks, they buy it back on the assumption that it's going to be on the dips. So therefore, it is in the best interest of the shareholders to hold those hold that stock. When SHIB does it, SHIB burns every single day. Now, they don't burn much every single day, but they do burn every single day. There's always... One or two of them is burning just a, a thousand. See that? Hundred thousand coins. Uh, and if you go down here, we'll go down, we'll scroll down. Twenty one thousand five hundred and fifteen coins was burned three days ago. And then if you look at it, they, they didn't do very much, right? So even on the lightest days, it still burns. So imagine a company that's out there that always buys back their tokens. Always buys back their stock. Every single day they're buying back their stock. When they do buybacks, they don't do it every single day. They wait for the, they have a threshold. And that's the only time they buy back their, their stocks. They spend a lot of money buying back their stocks, but they want to buy it at the lowest possible denominator that they can throughout that week, month, or year. Uh, just an FYI for everybody that wants to know about why the stock doesn't always go up when they do buybacks. But SHIB, on the other hand, it doesn't care where the price is. It's buying them back, burning them. And this is proof of it. Eight hours ago, 1.49. That means they had to buy in and then throw it in the burn wallet. And then that is taken out of circulation. So this circulating supply right here, this was turfed out of there. Now, how much more do we have to turf out of there before we see a rise in the price? That's the bottom line. And how much can we? How much do we want to see? We want to see a lot. Anyway, this is Will, your host. Thank you for coming, tuning in, and God bless each and every one of you. Jesus loves every single one of you, and our prayers and blessings go with every single day. Live long and prosper, my fellow investors. Um, news and education is always a good thing, and uh, how to stay in tuned and keep in touch. I'm looking forward to the next video where we can talk about 
who knows what. But today's news is about the Burns. And I'm about helping us achieve our number one goal, which is to watch SHIB grow exponentially. And in order to do that, we have to eliminate the supply or grow as a nation. Those are our two options. But we're an island, middle of nowhere, waving to everybody that's passing by. And they're zipping by us. And jets, planes, you name it. They're not even looking in SHIB's direction. And we have to stop that. That's um, If they realize that we're just uh, an island, a flat island with this huge mountain on it of ice and snow. And we need to get that melted. And we need to get it melted fairly rapidly. Or we need to grow the community so that we can get pickaxes up there and start chipping it away. But we can't do it when there's only 1.3 million of us. And this, this thing is about 10 times size, ten times the size of Mount Everest, if you can imagine it. right? So if you look at it that way, you say, oh, wow, we've got a lot of work to do in a very short period of time that we want to do it in. So how can we possibly do it? You have to grow together. Or you have to burn together. Either way, you still need to do it together. This is from me to you, and peace, everybody. Wishing you all the very best, and have a great and wonderful day. Let's make this year the best year ever, 2023, 2024, and 2025. From me to you, God bless you, take good care, and good evening. Good morning, good evening, and good night. Peace.